guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video as you may have guessed from the title this is going to be my perfume haul so i'm going to show you guys all the newest perfumes in my collection i don't think i've shared this to you guys before that's why i wanted to make this video just so you guys know what type of perfumes i am actually currently trying and loving and some of them actually is kind of a fail so if you guys want to know more about my newest perfumes then please keep on watching so i do have a new hairstyle like this was like my hairstyle last year when we moved here in canada and i kind of just wanted to bring back my bangs that's why i cut it and anyway so i have quite a few perfumes here i actually have eight pieces of perfume here let's get started so the first one that i wanted to share with you guys is actually the one that is kind of kind of really like surprised me in a way so i am talking about the pinrose mystical misfit and this is the eau de parfum and i see this everywhere in sephora like they have like the huge line of perfume and i always see this but i never really pick this up because i don't know the smell but for some reason they went on sale and i think it was around like 50 dollars or something crazy like that so i decided to pick this up and this is what it looks like i really really like the packaging of it and i keep them in the box so out of all the pin rose perfumes this has like the most liked reviews that i've read a lot of people actually like this one and i really really love the packaging of this one i'm not gonna lie this is just really like one of the main points why i decided to pick this up because of the packaging like look how cute this is it's baby pink and the cup is just white and it says pin rose on top and this one is 50 ml and you guys this perfume I don't like it <laughs> at first sniff like this reminds me so much of avon perfumes not that avon perfumes are not good some of them i really like um but it's just that this has something about it that just reminds me so much of the like avon's like the patchouli i can literally smell the patchouli on it and it's fruity and look at the mist the mist is like perfect and i kind of see why this was a mystical misfit because it's very fun it's mischievous like and oh my gosh i don't i really really like the dry down of this perfume after you spray this on the fruity scent would really come out the top notes of this is peachy and then the middle notes is red berries and the base notes is patchouli according to fragrantica this is really a surprising scent for me if i were to pick this up from sephora and try to smell this on the bottle i probably wouldn't pick this up i'm so happy that i got this and i bought this blind buy and surprisingly i ended up really really liking it and the next one that i wanted to talk about is actually one of jeremy fragrance recommendation um but it's actually the original one but i think i also heard him talk about this one so i am talking about the girl of now by ellie sab and this is what it looks like so i got the shine one so this one is actually um almond white flowers textured with orange blossom and patchouli i got this from um shoppers while i was just browsing through the um perfumes there they have this stall there that are on sale for like 20 dollars or something like that so i saw this i was actually looking for the original one which is the girl of now pistachio because i heard that one is like really really good and a lot of people actually like that that one but this is the only available there so i picked this up because it's only 19 dollars. this is what the bottle looks like like the juice of it i really really like also the packaging is very art deco the original one is actually blue but this one is in gold and yeah this is what it looks like i like the juice of it it reminds me so much of my la vie belle eclat oh my gosh the sun is like so bright okay so i tried to put on the curtain it says here in fragrantica that 
the top notes of this are pineapple, pear, and mandarin orange. Middle notes are bitter almond, jasmine, orange blossom, and ylang ylang. And the base notes are vanilla, patchouli, and iris. So this one is a fail for me. Unfortunately, I don't really like this perfume just because it gives me the massive headache ever. I don't like it when scents give me headache. That's why I tend not to pick up perfumes that are so, so powerful and so strong. It smells really good. Like I can really smell like the almonds on it. Yeah, I can really smell the almond. The opening is really, really nice. Uh, honestly, I really, really, I really like this scent. But for some reason, whenever I try this on, it just gives me massive headache. There's just something about this that I don't really, really like. It's probably because it's super sweet because of the pineapple. I probably just give this to my sister because I think she would like this type of perfume. But for me, this is headache inducing and I can't really take it the next one is actually probably like the cheapest one in my collection to be honest but this one is one of the classics so i am actually talking about the pink sugar so this is what it looks like like the packaging of it is like really really fun and girly and i really like it pull it like so and the bottle is inside and this is what it looks like so when i purchased this actually this doesn't look like this like the juice of it is turning yellow i know that's the case with pink sugar this one is straight up sugar like sugar 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 it's so so sweet some of the people that have smelled this on me they said that this actually smells like cake which i do agree because it's like straight up sugary you can probably enjoy this one if you're like somewhat younger but for me i'm 30 this is too young for my liking but i just love that i have this in my collection just in case i'm like in the mood to to smell like sugar this one actually is really nice i really like it it's easily likable there's nothing about it that you, you could dislike to be honest because it's really nice i think i got this for only like $19 really really cheap so yeah that's that the next two perfumes that I wanted to talk about you guys is the newest in my collection I picked this up just last week from Hudson's Bay I was just kind of intrigued when I saw this and the packaging and the reviews are really amazing that's why I decided to pick this up so I'm actually talking about the Clinique my happy perfume just like this I don't know if you could see that, but there you go. Yeah, this is the purple and this is the pink. So I got these two together because I was like so intrigued because I couldn't find the Clinique Happy anymore. I think it got discontinued. I'm not sure. Leave them down below, you guys. But I picked this up because it says Clinique My Happy and some of the reviews I've read, it says that this is like a great dupe alternative for the Clinique Happy. And this is actually what the bottles looks like. Really tiny and these two are just 15 ml, which is so so tiny to be honest and the price is actually 30 dollars which i think is not bad at all i i actually want to talk about this one so this is the cocoa and cashmere this is the purple one and look at the bottle like it's so slim and it's so easy to carry i actually am planning to bring this with me at work because i really really like this scent so nice so so nice i really really like this one if i were to pick up another perfume if i run out of this too i'm probably going to pick this one up just because of how much i love the scent of this the main accords of this one is cacao by the name itself cocoa and cashmere this is very very chocolatey and creamy and vanilla it's musky it's everything although i just wish that this would last longer on my skin i think that's why it's really tiny so that you can reapply throughout the day so this one is the peony picnic and this i picked this up because of the name itself peony and this smells so girly like so girly i really really like this 
and honestly you guys once i tried this on i was like wait a minute this reminds me so much of something and this smells so so similar to the lena so i have my hair perfume um from the lena it smells so so the lena to me so what I did was I actually used this one as like my perfume and then I used my Delina like hair perfume mist and my friends actually asked me if I'm wearing Delina. So this is a great great dupe for Delina if you wanted to smell Delina but couldn't really justify the price like myself. I really love Delina. Um, definitely pick this one up and I, I can honestly tell that this lasts longer than uh, this one and then the next one that I wanted to talk about is this one is actually not a fail but it's definitely not my favorite so this is the Volgari Omnia Crystalline and it looks like this so if you guys didn't know this is actually their travel bottle so this is 25 mil and I picked this up from was it Marshalls or Winners? Something like that. So this one cost $30. And for me, you can never really go wrong with Vulgari. The bottle looks very interesting. It's kind of like Alien or something like that. Which I like, but I don't really appreciate bottles that don't stand up. I like flatter bottles like this that that can stand on its own. But anyway, since this is um, a travel size, I don't really mind it. So this one actually, this smells really good. So this launched in 2005. So it's been a while since they launched this one. That's why I think I don't really, I'm not really a fan of the scent. I mean, the scent is really nice. It's gorgeous. The top notes of this are bamboo, pear, middle notes are lotus, tea, cassia, base notes are musk, and guac, goyak wood, and oak moss. So this is a woody, florally, musky scent and it's nice but it's nice. Um, it has like a vulgar DNA on it which is something that is very very generic in my opinion. It's probably because I've been really into perfumes lately that my taste in fragrances have been kind of different than before that's why i really like perfumes that are different um this to me is very generic it's very like an everyday scent like it's not really bad at all like it's a gorgeous perfume like don't get me wrong but there's nothing about this perfume that would really intrigue me because i like wearing perfumes that are different that people would notice not because i love receiving compliments but this for some reason this is this to me is kind of like a college girl scent something that you would wear if you were wearing like a crisp polo and you just wanted to smell clean um this is probably the perfume that i want to get and Funny enough, this actually reminds me so much of my mom. I think she would really, really like this type of perfume that are woody and musky and kind of florally. Something that she would wear during Sunday, going to church. So I'm actually going to pass this up to my mom because I'm not gonna wear this at all because it's too generic for my liking. But the last two perfumes here that I wanted to talk about are actually, um, I think you guys have seen these two perfumes in my previous videos. I've talked about them before. So I'm actually talking about Santal 33 and the Baca Rouge 540. I'm not gonna get into details because I've talked about these perfumes so much from my last videos. But this one is the Santal 33 and it looks like this. And honestly, you guys, it literally like breaks my heart. But I kind of regret getting this perfume. I know, I know you guys like this perfume. I like this perfume, like don't get me wrong. Like this is very, this smells like money, you know? It smells very elegant, it smells very different. It's just, it's very woody for my liking. And when I use this, I just spray this like twice. I'm probably not gonna do that again because this is quite, kind of strong. So this is so strong that it literally gave me the massive headache. 
and it's probably also because of our home scent currently i have the aroma tech santal in my diffuser right here beside me and it smells like this perfume exact the same so i was probably like so gotten used to it that i was kind of like sick of it you know because i smell this at home and then i smell this on myself it's sickening so i'm not gonna do that again so this is kind of taking a back seat for now just because i'm so sick of the scent as i know this is the this is bea alonso's signature scent if you didn't know her she's actually an actress in the philippines and i know this is her signature scent um so yeah this is really really nice but it's just that this is taking a back seat for now because it's too strong for me and if i were to actually use this one i'm going to just spray once because it's so powerful and it lasts so so long on my skin last but not the least of course is the baccarat rouge 540 you guys i've talked about this endlessly but this is so so good i am really really happy that i have this in my collection oh my gosh this is so different it smells like a burnt cotton candy but at the same time it's very very incense and i really like this and they said that once it's either you like it or you don't and i happen to like this one and i'm actually going to purchase the scented body oil the from backer rouge so that i would could layer them two together and it would last even longer on my skin the only downside for this one is that you can't really smell this on yourself because this is a molecule perfume but nonetheless i really really like this one a lot of people actually like this one as well so yeah so all right you guys that's everything in this video i hope you guys enjoy it and you find this helpful and if you have any questions regarding this perfumes that i shared with you guys just leave them down below and i'll try to answer them for you and if you have any suggestions and perfume recommendations i definitely would love to hear it and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on my next one bye